Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julie and I am here to do my reaction video for season 1, episode 7 of The Secret Life of the American Teenager. This time the title of the episode is Absent. And we're here, we're back and we are ready for a new episode. Mom found out on the previous episode, Dad found out. Um, and yeah, you know, at least... She's gonna get some prenatal care because uh, she wanted to. Well, she thought for it for a bit uh, the, that the solution was going to be to have an abortion. Um, you know, which I don't ju judge at all. It's her body, her choice. Uh, but she has decided to have it again. Her body, her choice. So. We're gonna see what's gonna happen with Amy Jurgens and with all the kids <laughs> on this in on this show. That is one of the wildest shows <laughs> I've been watching at the moment. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it, and I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Uh, I truly, truly, truly enjoy this show because I feel like it's it's it it has it gives you so much, and also the kids are like wild as hell and I kind of like that kind of wild <laughs> behavior out of them you know because it's it's crazy you know and the title couldn't be more perfect uh so we'll see um this one comes sponsored by Kaden here on Patreon thank you so much for sponsoring you are the greatest and I hope you enjoy and I hope you continue supporting for more so we are going to do this we are going to react to this episode hope you guys enjoy hope you guys like it hope you guys continue oh my god I just screamed continue supporting for more for now that's about it I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado let's just begin with season what season did it? one episode seven of the secret life of the American teenager. Here we go. I'm gonna drop your sister off at school and then I'm gonna hit the road. I don't mind asking your grandmother if you can stay with her. I don't even mind telling her why you wanna stay with her, but you don't have to stay with her. I don't want anyone to see me like this. I just, I wanna do this all alone. But you're not alone. We're alone. Yeah. Finally. We're not alone. I'm waiting for you. You're going to be late for school. Yeah, well, at least I'm not going to be late for my period. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, why? I apologize. May I go live with him? Go. Oh, damn. So, th that isn't a no. Well, I think you're in, in the right age to decide for yourself. Falling in love. I just don't know how this happened. I mean, how did it happen, Amy? How is this possible? Well, sex? No. <laughs> <laughs> Though. I mean, I just let it happen. No, it's his fault. He knew what he was doing. And this she... Ricky guy, he knows about this? Yeah, he knows. But you haven't talked to him face to face. No, no. no. I... After you have the, um, child, then what? I can't think about that right now, Daddy. <laughs> you haven't called me that in so long, baby. Is that why you're happy about that baby. right now? Oh. This family's really so weird. For me to come home. She doesn't want us to see her. Or at least she doesn't want me to see her. <laughs> is that crazy or what? She's scared, Ben. Just go along with the plan. Whatever it is. Of course, whatever it is, it's probably going to change over and over and over again. Yeah. It's just not easy, that's all. What in life is easy? Not much, that's what. Text her, do something. Let me know what happens. I'm going to my grandmother's. You can come over tonight and say goodbye if you want. No. Thanks for asking, but no. I don't want to say goodbye because I don't want you to leave. Okay, then see you later. <laughs> Wait, Ashley, promise me, promise me that you won't have sex until marriage. Please, not one of your fake promises like to mom and dad, like a real promise. <laughs> you make the same mistake I did. Are you kidding? I have condoms, I'm not an idiot. You have condoms at 13? You are not using condoms. Now there's some really bad advice. Yeah, okay, exactly. You know what I mean, Ashley. You don't need condoms, just say no. Well, that doesn't work, obviously. I didn't <laughs> say no, though. I didn't say anything. I know you. Don't punch him! And you are? I'm Amy's dad. Oh, well, hello. No, no violence, please. Don't you hit me. If you hit me, I'll hit you back, I swear. But if I started hitting you, I don't think I could stop. Because <laughs> I want to kill you. 
I don't want you involved in anything that my daughter decides. Is that clear? You have no part in the decision-making process. No, 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 of course not. It's her baby. Don't be an idiot. It's your baby, too. But you're not going to have anything to do with it, ever. Why do you have a key to Adrian's condo? It's not her condo. It's her mother's condo. Putting some new furniture in for her mother. Now, I came right. by to measure her room. Not that it's... No, but I notice you feel really comfortable here. You opened up a new jar of mayonnaise. Yeah, Have true. you seen Adrian's mother? You're the boyfriend? Let's just stick with the furniture story. Right. You stay away from my daughter, and you keep your mouth shut about me and Adrian's mom. No one knows about that but me, her, and Adrian. And now you. I'm not a worthless piece of trash! Hi, Adrian. Oh, shit. <laughs> she was trying to avoid this. I can't imagine that Ricky would never want to see his own child. That's because you live with two parents. Most families aren't like that. Every child has two parents. I don't. A 15-year-old girl is pregnant because of me, and I don't even care about her or the baby. All I care about is that her father called me trash, and I'm not. Okay, we get because it. Because I'm not. That is as good an answer as any. You're at the doorway to self-respect. Open it, Ricky. Open it and go on in. I don't know how. I think you do. I think you do. I think you know that you have to step up to not be trash, you know? You brought me something? Yeah, something for you and something for your mom. I don't want anything from you. Fine, I'll take it back. At least take a look at it first. Oh. Why would you get me a desk? What am I gonna <laughs> do with the desk? Guys would like you anyway, you know that, right? What do you mean anyway? Even if you don't have sex with them. And that's none of your business. Yeah, it's none of You're your business. To the desk. I honestly, these characters are so insane. Look, Ricky, I'm not sure I really want to talk to you right now. And I'm not sure I really want to talk to you, but we have to talk. No, we don't have to talk. What do you even want to talk about? She knows. I know everything, and I have condoms. <laughs> I love Ashley. We'll come back. I think I do want to be involved. Seriously? What? Look, I'm the father of this child, and I think I should have some say in what happens here. Oh. Just call me when I can come over and talk to you, okay? Oh, whoa. Okay. I know we're a little young and... A little. A little. a little pregnant. A, a little. <laughs> I'm really in love. This is the first time you've come to see her since we said goodbye to her? It is, yeah. I don't like coming here. I agree. But I didn't come for her. I came for you. Why do you come here every year on the anniversary of her death? She's not leaving forever. She's choosing to go. Mom, she didn't have a choice, but... Amy is you can't it's have your her way choice. On this one, Benjamin. Just like I couldn't have my way on that one. Live with it. Yeah, it is her choice. And if you're really, we're really happy you stopped by. I didn't have your number. I don't usually just stop by anywhere. I don't even know why I did this. I'd really like to be friends. We <laughs> yeah, don't want to talk about Ricky or the baby. I I thought I did, but I don't. I don't know. I just. Didn't want him to be my only option tonight. Okay. Actually, no. no, please stay. And she's your please your other option. <laughs> there are rules. No, but hang out. I mean, we'll talk about something else. I don't really have any girlfriends that I do this with either, so I'm not really any better at this than you. <laughs> okay. What do you guys want to talk? You get it online. I got a great desk online one time. Uh, no, actually, it was a it was a gift from my mother's boyfriend. Oh. How is he connected to dots? <laughs> Three of us talk. I mean, it is about the three of us, especially if Amy's going off to Mimsy's. Okay. Well, why don't we start with how you got home from school today? Right. <laughs> I guess you have um, <laughs> more important things. She's gonna get Amy into a group with other teen mothers. I want my daughter associating with girls like that. Your girl. Come on, I want to come home. You know, I checked our credit card account, and there aren't any hotel bills on there. Oh. You're not staying at the store, are you? Well, no. Um, so why Go don't you away. Just slither on back down the driveway, back to wherever it is that you are staying. This is my house too, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you and your dad would pretty much like to ignore I even exist. You know what? I don't know what my father said to you, but I am perfectly capable of speaking for myself. Since when? Since I got pregnant. I'd like to know where you are and what's going on, if you don't mind. Maybe I do mind. When are you gonna call me? When I feel like it. Okay, I'll take that. Good night. What? Uh, I was hiding in the bushes. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I was on the walk, and I knew Ricky was inside, so I got stuck. You don't mind? 
No. I don't mind at all. She does feel safe when she's with him. Stay. That's not me. It's the baby. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> don't shut me out, Amy. Please don't shut me out. Aww. That's very sweet. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season one, episode seven of The Secret Life of the American Teenager. And I think that things are getting pretty interesting right now. Um, it took six episodes for them to, for, for Amy to finally uh, tell her parents about the baby. Uh, which I think it's 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 a brave thing to do, you know. Um, and everything that happened in the previous episode with her not knowing if she wanted to have the baby. Still, I mean, she... I feel, and correct me if I'm wrong, that she is sure that she does want to uh, get to term. I mean... How is it that you say it? Uh, to have the baby. I mean, finish the preg the pregnancy, right? With her delivering the baby. What happens after is not something that she has decided yet. Whether if she's keeping keeping the baby or giving the baby for adoption, that part she hasn't decided yet. Um, the thing is that, in any case, I I feel, and in any situation, having a child at fifteen. It's not ideal at all, you know. Um, you can have your family support and everything, and I feel like Amy at least is lucky enough to have that. But I still believe that... Um, I don't know. I think I, I believe that, that she's in the right track with, you know, having her family supporting her, right? So that's that's good. Not a lot of of women, teenagers who become pregnant, uh, have that same support, right? So she's lucky that she has that support. That she has her sister. Honestly, Ashley, this episode she was incredible. You know, she's there for her sister, but she also keeps it real. You know, in a sense of like. Uh, well, at least, you know, I can't do anything worse than what you did. And, like, she's a sibling, you know? And, and siblings are like that. They care for you, but they also, like, will just tell you right away, that, like, if you're being annoying or whatever, you know? they Because that's, 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 that's the sibling experience, I feel, you know? So, in my opinion, I think that that is something that is very uh, important, you know? Um, and I'm glad that Amy has that. Now, she has decided she doesn't want anyone to see her and, like, blah, blah, blah. And, like, again, I, I, I understand where she's coming from. People usually are very judgy, you know, about that situation. Um, I remember when I had Josh, I looked a lot younger. I was, you know, I was young as well. You know, um, but I looked even younger, you know, uh, and so people looked at me like, what the fuck? And I was like, calm down. I'm already 21. Like, like, shut the fuck up. I'm a I was still young, but I was in, I was in 15, though I looked very young. Um, and I, I have seen those eyes. I didn't, I didn't care, you know, but on, I wasn't 15, you know, my situation, my situation was completely different. I was already married at the time and uh, I wanted a child, you know? Um, so it's different from Amy, though I have seen the looks that people give you when they think that, oh my God, look, she's like 15 or 16. And like, I mean, thank you, but like, no, thank you. You know, like, I don't care what you say. And I, I'm usually a person that doesn't really give a fuck about what people thinks, you know? care about my what my family might think but other than that I don't give a fuck you know about anyone else so who gives a damn uh but the thing is what was I saying what was that thing <laughs> um the thing is here um is that uh I I love um 
What was I saying? Uh, yeah, I mean, I wish that, that Amy could um, decide this without having other people in her mind, you know, saying things to her. You know what I mean? So, for me, it's kind of like, decide whatever you want to decide for you. It doesn't matter what people think. Regardless of whether if you're pregnant or you're not, people are going to talk. Whether if you're skinny, fat, <laughs> whatever it is, you know. Whether if you're like Grace, you know, and always, you know, thinking about God and whatever. Or being like Adrian, who's a little bit more carefree with her life. Regardless, people are going to talk, you know. So, just live your life, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, and I feel like she feels secure and and safe when she's with Ben. And, like, I saw her entire, like, uh, anger and distress and anxiety, everything just go back down when she saw Ben and she was able to ho hold him and hug him. And that was sweet. That was extremely sweet. Uh, and I think she needs that, you know? Like I said during the reaction... If Ben was my child, I wouldn't be encouraging him to marry at 15. I will say to him, you can still hang out with her, of course. It's not like she has a <laughs> infectious disease or whatever. Hang out with her. Be there for her. If you want to become like the fatherly figure and she lets you, so be it. But right now is not the time for you guys to get married. Now, if you think that that's what you want when you are 18 and when you can make your own decisions and when you are an adult officially and like as a parent I can do anything then that's your, your decision and it will be your success or your failure and you will learn or not from it you know but right now I wouldn't be encouraging him to get married at all I'll encourage him to you know be there for her and everything to not impose his ideas on her, to just be a, a good, a decent boyfriend. But I wouldn't marry him to anyone at 15, you know? And especially because Ben is a very, you know, he's very in touch with his feelings. He's a very emotional type of kid, you know? And I feel like if something were to happen or were to go wrong... And they break up or something. I feel like it's going to just completely damage him. And I don't want that for him. You know what I mean? So right now I think I will leave it like that. And there is no need for for a marriage or anything like that. Um, we started the episode with Ricky being reluctant as well. To, um, to even talk to Amy. Like he's like, she's having the baby. I'm not having the baby. Like I don't, you know. He was very defensive, right? And he wanted a way out. And then he, sadly, gets to talk to Amy's dad. And I understand that the dad is upset and wants to beat the shit out of... Like, that's the normal, you know, uh, what fathers are supposed to do for their little girls type of thing. Which is sexist. Sexist as hell. You know? Um... But I understand where kind of like where half of it is coming. Where like why were were weren't you guys t like wearing condoms and things like that? And I'm and 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 like the fact that the dad doesn't even want to. Oh my god, sex! That what do you th what do you think happened for her to be pregnant? She had sex. Like it's a little late for you to be like, oh my god, sex! What the hell? I should have talked to you about. If you're still being like, oh my god, and like being so like you know, scared of talking about sex, then, like, what the fuck? We're, like, no wonder she got pregnant. You know? So, in my opinion, like, what he said to Ricky, it was, it was really uncalled for, you know? In, 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 in a sense. Like I said, half of it, I understand him feeling upset. Um, but he's, this is another, another child, another kid, Ricky, 
who also was not expecting to get Amy, Amy pregnant. It's not like he woke up and said, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get someone pregnant. Not at all. It was an accident. It was lack of judgment at the moment, I guess. I don't know. But the thing is that when he said that he was trash, that's the moment that it triggered for him, right? That he doesn't want to be a, an irresponsible dad. And we know a bit of Rick's story with his own dad. So I think that for him to be able to say, I'm not that, it kind of changed everything. And like in a single episode, we saw a careless Ricky, scare Ricky, to unscared Ricky, but able to be like, yes, I need to support this girl that, you know, I got pregnant because that is as much as her baby as it's mine. So in whatever decision she makes, I want to be involved, you know, and decided to act like a decent man, you know, whatever decision she's going to make, he, he wants to be there, you know, and that's, I think that's amazing. I re I truly do think that. And to see it happening on a single episode, really good for Ricky. Uh, then Adrian and Grace, the most unlikely friendship I was shipping them for a bit. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I think that there, there could be a really good, like, growing for both of them. And both benefiting from this relationship. So I'm excited to see more of them, actually. And honestly, the dad, uh, 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 Grace's dad was like, She got a new desk. Hmm. And, like, that face of, like, oh, maybe they... Also, why were they spying? in the first place, but like, um, the fact is like, is he the only one who sells furniture in this town? Maybe he is, I don't know, but stupid in my opinion, uh, but every character, you know, it feels, they feel so old in a sense of like, how, how do I say it? Like, they feel so old in that sense of like, like, I feel like this show was like made in in the 90s and not in the 2000s you know so i don't know it feels way older than it should be i think but anyways regardless of that i love the episode and i cannot wait to watch the next one so thank you kaden for sponsoring this season i hope you enjoy thumbs up to everyone who in love who enjoys who in loves who enjoys <laughs> uh the secret life of the american teenager Thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, hearts if you're on Patreon. And for now, I think that's about it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for the secret life of the American teenager. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.